everybody welcome back to my channel I'm back with yet another video and today I am doing a quick um, kind of review of this uh, bag which is the totally MM from Louis Vuitton it's an interesting um, concept of a bag uh, it's a tote bag it's a city tote bag how Louis Vuitton actually advertised this bag on their website and it is a bag on the way out meaning that um, it's not so easy to find it anymore in the stores uh, it also you know it looks like to be discontinued at least the monogram one which i have here in this dust bag um, i have looked on the website and i saw that you're still able to purchase the um, damier aben and the damier graffiti one so while they're off the market slowly um, they start to be interesting from you know the price perspective so if you're price conscious and you don't want to spend uh, you know the whole shebang on your first louis purchase um, this is an interesting bag because it is very very practical and i'll show you that in this video while i'll take some of my stuff and put it in there and this bag actually is of um, you know from a friend of mine that bought it for her mother um, and she asked me if i wanted do a review and show it to you and since I had it at home for a couple of days I decided to do so because I found it to be really interesting so without further ado let me show you the bag um, this is the bag in question so as you can see it's a tote shaped bag that has a zipper so not your traditional tote which usually traditional totes are as you know top open um, this one has a zipper which is really really nice because you get that feature of security and therefore I think comes the word the business tote um, the second nice thing on this bag which I noticed are you know the outside pockets uh, which are very very large as you can see them here let me demonstrate it by putting my hand in so this can be your water bottle pocket or you know some quick items that you need to have you know access to without unzipping the bag um, on the other side you need to be cautious because this is fully exposed so if it does turn around that your items might fall out and also um um, you know somebody might want to take something from um, the bag if you are toting it around um, the dimensions of this bag are 40 centimeters here on the top um, then you have 30 centimeters down here and the width of the bag at the bottom is 17 centimeters so it's pretty roomy bag and I'll demonstrate by putting something in it before I do so I'm gonna show you the straps the straps are quite long as you can see here and they are flat this is you know really nice from the perspective of if you and again you know kind of a work busy you know business tote this you know my idea comes through you know when you're gonna fill this up with your you know so say you're a lady that carries around you know to work your computer and stuff this is gonna be heavy uh, but these straps really you know even when this is fully loaded up to the brim uh, they remain to be very comfortable because they are you know you see the width is around the size of my thumb so they are quite wide so they don't eat into your shoulder that much um, for those of you who are interested I'm gonna quickly measure the drop on this um, because I get the questions usually okay what's the drop what's the drop and I know that's important so um, the drop is around 25 centimeters as you can see here um, which is very generous um, if I show this on me I'm a you know I'm a quite a large dude at around 110 kilograms um, 182 centimeters so any of you ladies will be more than easy to put this on you see I can put this on my this massive fat arm of mine um, so this goes on easy on me so there's plenty um, you know plenty of drop for you to carry this around one thing to note though is if you are shorter posture um, you might only be able to kind of uh, you know wear it like this or as a tote but not maybe like this because the because the drop is 25 centimeters and as I said the bag here is 30 you're gonna end up with what is that 57 to 60 centimeters so it's quite you know it's quite low for somebody who is not you know very you know very tall but tall all right so that's from the outside uh, substantial zipper here on this bag let me try to zoom this in guys it's always hard with the camera there we go 
a substantial you know zipper pull on this one i really like that um louis vuitton on it uh, and it is gold because we are talking about the monogram bag um, also nice detail here is the leather piping on the outside of this bag and of course that's all done in vachetta because of the monogram combination inside uh, the bag again you know kind of is focused more on functionality than anything else to be honest which is good because that's what this bag is for um, you have um, two pockets on this side slip pockets where you can put something in very nice feature here is the addition of a d-ring which you can see here and there we go um, you know to put your keys on or attach something else and then you have another slip compartment which is you know larger and I'll try to fit in my iPad to see if that goes in so let's try to start putting stuff in this so we see you know what really fits in so the iPad I'm gonna put it in this slip pocket and I already know it fits because I tried before I was making the video and that's a great feature so you can put your iPad up here um, I'm just gonna take my bag because um, you know, I used this backpack this week and that's the, for you, for those who are interested, I have a video on this backpack, that's the Balmain and H&M um, collab backpack from, I think, one a year, two years ago. Um, inside I have a MacBook Pro 13 in neoprene sleeve. I'm gonna put that in and as you can see, it goes in quite easily now if you will have a 15 inch macbook i think you can put it in but you would need to kind of put it in like this you know what i'm saying and kind of wiggle it in i don't have a 15 inch so i cannot try it uh, but this is how the 13 looks like inside uh, i'm gonna put in and i don't take this with me in my bag but just for the sake of entertainment and to see really what fits this is a uh, toilet 26 in the monogram print so I'll put this in and as you can see it fits right in there so here's the monogram 26 hiding there we go here's the computer and here's the iPad um, say we want to throw in something more say a pair of shades with the case this is a large hard case from Mikita um, and inside I have my Sep sunglasses in all gold. A lot of you guys like these sunglasses and you saw them in my vlog, the Vienna vlog. They are very nice. Actually, the, the whole Mikita range is very nice. Um, so I do recommend this highly, very light, very good optics on this. So here it is. And let's say we're gonna use the external pocket for this. So I'm gonna put them in here. And I say I wanna have my sunglasses, you know, accessible from the outside. So I put them in this pocket here with the whole case. And I'm gonna take, what else do we have here? Um, an iPhone 6S, a key pouch. I'm gonna use the small pockets for those. Uh, key pouch, I mean the key coin. There we go, one and the other. And say I'm gonna put in my Prada card holder, which you guys know very well. I'm gonna use, again, one of these pockets because it, you can double up on those pockets. Then I have something like this, which is like a document holder. I put my papers on. I was recently doing some doctor checks, so I had all the all the papers in here. So I'm gonna put that between the computer and between the um, uh, between the iPad. And then I have always with me, and I told you guys a bag. And this one is a really funny one. You saw it before. <laughs> my Louis Vuitton um, kind of grocery store bag i have this all the time with me because if i go to the grocery i would put that in um this is the midi pochette so let's try also that one um and that's about it i don't really have anything more just some uh, uh just my card holder from the fendi monster collection which is you know became very quickly my favorite card holder and do check my card holder video which I posted a couple of weeks back uh, and I'll put this one in and I have a chopstick um, here from I've been using the Biotherma Atoderm which is okay it's nothing special but it's better than your usual one and I have also a face cream which is again something just to have during the day because it's been very cold so I'll throw all, the, all of this in 
Okay, so now you know I kind of overdone it, but you know what I mean. All this stuff is inside this bag now, and this bag is now extremely heavy. But because you know you have these straps, um, this is going to be bearable um, to to carry around. Um, due to the the flat straps that you get on this bag. So in my honest opinion, this is a great bag I looked a bit around on the internet uh, For the pricing of this bag and as I said if you're gonna go, you know pre-loved um, These ones are in pretty, you know, these ones are pretty okay-ish priced for what they are I think they're super super functional. I know a lot of people do not like totes um, that um, You know do not close on the top because they're scared. They're gonna lose stuff um, as you can see it's not the case here um, they're scared you know somebody's gonna get into the toe take something out and so on so I, I think this is a, a really nice bag and it's extremely extremely functional I think you know from the functionality perspective and what it can hold uh, as I'm taking all the stuff out now so you guys can see what was in there um, it's a great purchase guys. It's really a great purchase um, For somebody who's not you know thinking to break the bank But wants something which you know you can wear daily because this really is a daily bag you can wear this every day um, It's I think a good purchase this particular bag um, Was made in France I forgot to show you this as you can see here on this little and he's already you know developed a very nice patina it's not too dark usually they get dark here on the handles because you know this leather is not uh, there's only b-wax you know what's protecting the leather and you know slowly it is going to start to develop patina as this one already did but this one is still actually quite white i saw some of them patina much darker just in general the bags with uh, Vachetta leather. So my verdict on this bag is this is a really really good bag um, The only thing it is it might not be your style you might not you know look for a tote uh, Yourself or you don't like totes yourself, but other than that I think it's a I think it's a very interesting bag and a bag that's definitely super super practical for everyday work kind of business tote for a lady but you know me I don't discriminate so if you're a guy want to wear this by all means you know knock yourself out not a problem at all anyway guys I hope you have enjoyed this video uh, if you did so please hit the like button and subscribe it means a ton for me and of course as always I will see you in my next video for now have a great great day bye